Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to make a friendship card using a brand new product suite I got and with some help from my Big Shot. This new product suite is called By the Shore and it includes the Seaside Shore stamp set, which is what I'm going to focus on today. And then it's also got this great designer series paper to correspond with it. There's a, uh, and there's an embossing folder, but I will not be using that today. I'll show that to you another time. So I'm going to use the Seaside Shore stamp set and several different colors. If you haven't seen the note card and envelope pack, it's perfect, especially if you're a beginner stamper and you want cards, uh, cardstock and envelopes to go together, you can buy this pack and that's what I'm using today. The cards are a little bit smaller than your sort of traditional greeting card, but it's, they're still great. You can still mail them, you can tuck them into gift bags and so on. So I've got one of the note cards and it already comes scored. So that's going to be my card base. And to that, I'm going to have a layer that I have cut from Whisper White cardstock. I'll have the measurements over on my blog afterwards. And then I'm, I've pulled out several stamps from the Seaside Shore, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with Basic Gray, and this is sort of like the seaweed stamp, and I'm going to stamp it along the bottom, and I'm going to vary the heights of the inked images, like so. So you're going to run that all across the bottom. And then the next thing I'm going to do is bring in the, the one of the seashells and I have pear pizzazz ink and I'm going to ink up the seashell and I'm going to stamp it twice like so. I'll clean all of these after the video is over. Then I'm going to use Knight of Navy ink and I've got the larger of the starfishes that's in the stamp set and I'm going to stamp that three times. Like so. One, two, three. Then I have the smaller of the um, starfishes and I'm going to use Island Indigo ink. And you're just randomly stamping these little guys. And then the last thing I'm going to do is bring in Soft Sky. And there's like a bubble stamp, like air bubbles, and I am going to stamp these air bubbles again quite randomly. And I'll show you what it looks like. Like there. So it's kind of, we have kind of like an underwater scene using a variety of stamps and colors. Now, I'm going to bring in my Big Shot and my magnetic platform. So I've got my magnetic platform, my bottom standard cutting pad. I'm going to put this scene that I've created and then what I'm gonna do is die cut a window out of that scene using the Layering Circles Framelits. I featured this last this Framelit pack last week in my video tutorial. I just think it's wonderful and it provides you a variety of circle options, different sizes, and they layer perfectly. So I've popped my circle on top of my scene. I'm going to put the top standard cutting pad on and I'm gonna run it through the Big Shot. 
not done with my book shot yet, but I have this circle cut out. I'm going to set it aside for now. I'm going to get my big shot ready and I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock and I am going to use the phrase that's in this set that says ahoy there and I'm going to use Knight of Navy. I'm going to ink up this phrase. Stamp it down. And then I'm going to die cut out a smaller circle than the one that I previously used, but still in the same pack. Put the circle around the phrase. Hopefully you can see this in the video. There we go. I'm going to put the top standard cutting pad on. And I'll just bring it back so it's closer to me. Now I'm finished with my big shot for this video. Then I'm going to bring back in my soft sky ink and the little air bubble stamp and I'm just going to stamp some air bubbles like so. Then I am ready to put this all together. So I've got my note card bottom. I'm going to use four Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to turn over my underwater scene layer and add Stampin' Dimensionals to the back. Peel off the tails. Like so. And then I'm going to layer that on like that. It just lifts it off the page a little bit. And then I'm going to bring in the Ahoy there. And I'm just going to put one Stampin' Dimensional in the center of that layer. And I'm going to put that in the center of the circle, like so. And then the last thing that I did before the video began, just because you don't want to see me sit here and fussy cut, is I took this fish image, and here it is here, and my elegant eggplant ink, and I stamped and cut out the fish, and I'm going to add it to my seascape. like so. Now, if I wanted to, there's a phrase that says, hoping your day goes swimmingly. I could stamp that inside, which I might do after the video's over. But there we go. A really quick and easy friendship card that I created with the help of my Big Shot and a new product suite called By the Shore. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for all of these pieces, hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, make sure you're a newsletter subscriber, and you might also want to consider joining my FYI, For Your Inspiration, club in August. It's an online club, and in August, I'm going to be featuring this product suite, so you'll get lots more ideas for a minimum product order. I'm Terry. I'm Nuts About Stamping. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.